Hey, what's going on, everyone? Dr. Taylor Spurk, chiropractic. Today, I want to talk to you about something. I mean, man, it feels like it's been going on a whole lot more since school started. Um, that's just a calendar. That's just a calendar date that I've locked in my head. It has nothing to do with school. But it seems like we've had a whole lot more car accidents coming in. NTS. If you are in a car accident, a motor vehicle accident in legalese, if you are in a collision, you 100% absolutely need to see the chiropractor. Why is that? Doc, I wear my seatbelt. I got my headrest up where it needs to be, all this kind of stuff. Car accidents, rather, is what's called a rapid deceleration. Okay, so your body is moving this way. Here's you, tra -la, la you're sitting there holding the wheel, right? Happy, not a care in the world. And then you're sitting at the stoplight and somebody rams into you. What's that do to you? If you're standing still, your car and your seat start to move forward, your head stays put, right? So this person turns into this person right there. Oh no, right? So right in there, that's where whiplash occurs. It's that rapid deceleration. So your body's going forward and it snaps back like that. That thing runs forward like that. And what does it do? It stretches out. It affects all of the muscles and the ligaments and the tissues in the back of the neck and the base of the spine and the base of the spine on the neck there, stretching all those things out. What could be considered a sprain or a strain injury. But more importantly, beyond the muscles, because the muscles are the stuff, that's the stuff you feel the day after or two days after a car accident, right? That's the stiffness, the tightness. I can't turn my head. But then there's other things that start to go on. Hey, I'm getting headaches. Hey, I've got brain fog. I've got numbness and tingling in my arms, hands, or fingers. And these are things that happen maybe not the next day, but for all intents and purposes, one to three weeks after the accident. Why is that? If we've got the base of our skull here, right, spine goes like this. We're looking at you from the side, okay? So face is there, smiling face. We've got these individual bones here. You've got seven bones in your neck. 12 in your mid back and five in your low back. And if we go back here, this is you again, two or three weeks after the accident, but all of these muscles back here are still inflamed because of the whiplash that happened. More importantly, these muscles are attached to each one of these individual bones. And if those muscles are spazzed up or if they're tight or hell, even just the force of the accident itself, can move these bones out of place, right? They can lose juxtaposition, proper juxtaposition with the segment above or the segment below. That's called a subluxation. Subluxation, S-U-B-L-U-X-A-T-I-O-N. Sub, less than, lux, light, life, energy. Basically less light, life, and energy. Less information from the brain getting into the body because these bones are out of place, pinching on these nerves that come out of here. Why'd they get out of place? Because you were in a car accident. Did you feel it the day after? No. Did you feel it two or three days after? Probably not. Did you feel it three weeks after? Possibly. Worst case scenario, and man, I'll tell you what, this happens more often with dudes than it does with women, because they get into a car accident, and they'll have a stiff neck for a few days or a week. But what are we told? We're told to walk it off. That says walk. We're told to walk it off. Hey, we've got stuff to do. We can't afford to go get ourselves checked out right now. We've got constraints on our time. And then what happens? Then you walk in here looking like this. Three years later, kids have been watching a lot of SpongeBob lately. Three years later, you walk in looking like this. And I'm like, hey, what happened? Doc, all I did was I went to pick up my son. Doc, all I did was I did a little yard work this weekend. Have you done yard work before? Yeah, I've done yard work before, but for some reason, this weekend it turned me into this. Okay, let's talk about your history. Anything happen while you're doing yard work? No. Well, what happened when you're picking your son up? Well, I picked him up and I felt everything just spaz up back here. Well, what about the previous week or two? Anything going on there? Nope, just work. Okay, I'm looking at your uh, paperwork here. It says back in 1978, you were in a car accident. Okay, maybe in 78, one have a three-year-old son. But years ago, you were in a car accident. Did you see anyone for it then? Well, no. Why not? Because after a few weeks, the stiffness and pain kind of went away. Okay, well, tell me about your, uh, your time since then. Do you get headaches? 
Yeah, actually, you know, I, I get headaches pretty regularly. When did it start? Man, maybe back in that car accident. What about any numbness or tingling? You, your hands or fingers ever go numb just kind of for no reason, feel like they fall asleep? Yeah, actually, kind of. How long, how long has that been going on? Man, a few years, actually. Okay, that's fair. How do you sleep? Man, Doc, I sleep like crap. How long have you slept like crap? Uh, in all reality, for a while. So, we get into a car accident. We cause a physical and traumatic insult to the bones of the spine. We cause an issue with the muscles that uh, go along through here. We cause dysfunction with the muscles in the nervous system. And then what happens if you don't get it checked out? Your body gets used to that. Because, I mean, if we just look at it from a posture standpoint, posture is literally nothing more than a habit. There's good habits and bad habits. There's compensations. There's good compensations and bad compensations. You get into a car accident, an MVA, motor vehicle accident, rapid deceleration accident, that will cause these kinds of compensations. And if you don't do anything about them, then they stay there. And those compensations cause other compensations, cause other compensations. And then you come into me years after the fact, talking about headaches you've had forever, numbness and tingling you've had forever, sleep problems you've had forever. We take an x-ray of your spine. You've got increased degeneration. And odds are we're only going to see it at two or three segments. Why two or three? Because if it's just regular old run-of-the-mill arthritis, that happens with age. All those bones are the same age. But we're going to have degeneration at just specific segments that were injured back during that car accident. Why? So you got in an accident and you felt fine and you didn't get it checked out. Now, here in Texas, car accidents will cover your chiropractic care. I should say car insurance will cover your chiropractic care, whether it's your insurance or the person that hit you. God forbid if you hit somebody else. So if you know anyone that's been in an accident that needs to be treated, that's been putting it off, but then they're starting to complain of these kind of things that have been creeping up, give us a call or just walk right through our door. We're ready to help you when you're ready to be your best, even if you've been in an accident right here at Aspire Chiropractic.